everyone and welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homeworks Video Solutions. So today's email that comes in to us says there's a problem her daughter has to solve and it involves ratios and she's fairly certain how to do it but the problem specifies to use a tape diagram and that's where she's lost. So let's get into this problem. We're going to talk about tape diagrams. Tape diagrams are a very good visual way to teach students about ratios. All right it says David is baking cookies for a school bake sale. He is making a total of 35 cookies. His teacher asked him to make two sugar cookies for every three chocolate chip cookies. How many of each type of cookie will David make? Use a tape, tape diagram and show all work. All right, so let's see what this means. So tape di diagrams provide a visual for students and the visual helps them recognize equal portions within ratios. So let's get started. We've got a total He's making 35 cookies, okay? And the teacher asked him to make two sugar cookies, and that is not a you, two sugar cookies for every three chocolate chip, okay? I think that's a little specific of the teacher to ask. I mean, you're gonna ask students to bring in something for the bake sale, just be happy they're bringing it. But let's do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use equal sized rectangles to represent the portions. So let's talk about sugar cookies. So, ooh, that's a terrible marker. Let's not use red. Okay, so sugar cookies are now gonna be purple. And I'm gonna put in parentheses that there were two for every three. So we're gonna use two rectangles to represent the two portions of sugar cookies. And then we will have three for our chocolate chip. So chocolate chip, we're gonna have three. Now it is important that the rectangles are the same size. However, I'm freehanding this. So we're gonna get as close as we can. Maybe we'll shorten this one a little bit. So there we are. Okay, if these were computerized, they'd be equal sizes. So what this shows the students, and let's put a three here so we remember. This shows the students that for every two sugar cookies, there will be three chocolate chip cookies. Now, if we were making five cookies, the answer would be two sugar cookies and three chocolate chip, but we're not. We're making 35 total cookies. So basically we have two portions or two rectangles worth of sugar cookies for three rectangles worth of chocolate chip cookies. And the total rectangles are 35. So we have one, two, three, four, five portions that are equal sized equaling 35. So we have 35 cookies divided by five equal portions or equal rectangles. It's probably how they'll be uh, explained to the kids. Equals seven cookies per portion. Okay, so then you know that there are seven in each rectangle. Why in each rectangle? Because if there's seven in this, there has to be seven in all. They are equal portions or equal rectangles worth of cookies. So, looks like David's making 14 sugar cookies and 21 chocolate chip cookies. So, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send us more questions. Send us more problems. If you have any questions about this video, place it in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped.